Mr. Speaker, right now, our nation is facing a growing workforce crisis. For anyone who's paying attention, the most recent jobs report was incredibly disappointing. But it wasn't a surprise. Nearly everywhere I go across my district in Pennsylvania, I see help wanted signs. Every day, I hear from small businesses that are struggling to hire and struggling to keep staff. Despite the progress that we are making in our fight against the COVID-19 virus, Democrats are continuing their big government socialist plans. This alarming workforce trend is rooted in the Democrat scheme to keep paying people to stay at home. And it must end now. Thanks to American innovation and the success of Operation Warp Speed, our nation is winning the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Safe vaccines are the key to restoring our personal liberties, eradicating this virus, getting our kids back to school full time, and yes, getting the American people back to work. Just like every previous challenge in our history, I know that our nation and the potential is there to recover from this pandemic and to recover stronger than ever before. This truly is the American way. To succeed, we cannot allow President Biden and the Democrats to sabotage our forward momentum. From day one in office, the President has promised big government interference that comes with higher taxes and more regulation for American businesses. Now, in the name of so-called infrastructure reforms, the Biden administration is flaunting job-killing plans that would crush America's and Pennsylvania's robust manufacturing and our energy industries. Mr. Speaker, job-killing schemes and higher taxes are not the answer to the problem that lies in front of us. The dignity of work is a core tenet of our national fabric. This belief has motivated the generations of courageous Americans who built and forged our nation. And now it is once again time to get America safely back to work. Alongside President Trump, I worked hard to advance a pro-growth agenda to support the workforce and create American jobs for American workers. We need to return to these solutions today to secure our success for tomorrow. American workers are the key, the key to our recovery. They are truly essential. For centuries, hard work has been the key to uplifting families and achieving the American dream. We cannot allow this long-standing tradition to be lost. For the sake of our workforce and for our communities, we must uphold the dignity of work. We must support the workforce and we must get our nation back on the road to recovery. Thank you and I yield.